I do need to say I'm not practicing medicine. I'm not anti-doctor. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even here to sell a product. But my, my goal is to help people, including your family, understand this product, understand this other tool in the medical toolbox. And, and some of the things you hear me say may sound anti-doctor. They may sound uh, anti-establishment. You know, I'm really not. You know, doctors have a purpose and we're glad for what they you know, provide when there's the need. But if you've got a product that works better than traditional medicine, uh, why, not, why not use it? And there are some people who you can just stir it and drink it. You don't need to let it set. You don't need to let it wait. I've had, the, well, there's a guy in Par Parowan. That's this side now. There's a guy in Parowan, a Matheson, who he called one time to tell me uh, to order some clay. And I said, what do you use the clay for? And he went on and on. He said, the thing we'd really like about your clay is how it gets rid of celiac disease. You heard of that? Well, I'll tell you a couple of gluten stories. His situation, he says, your red McClay cured, our celiac, my, cured my celiac disease, my son's celiac disease, and my grandson's celiac disease. I said, how did you take it? He says, we stir it in water and drink it. I said, you don't let it set? He says, no. We just stir it and drink it. And he, and he says, if we don't get I said, the sediment too? He said, oh yeah. If we don't get every grain with the first glass of water, we fill it back up and swish it around to where we get every grain. And I asked him a question. I said, how long did it take for it to help? He said, it helped almost from day one. Now, lest you think that's always going to be the case, let me tell you my other gluten story. And I've got dozens, but I'll tell you my other extreme one. There's a lady in Gunnison who had celiac disease. Uh, really bad. So bad. Well, first she was diagnosed with Crohn's. No, fir first was diverticulitis, treated for that to no avail. Then it was changed to colitis, treated for that to no avail. Then it was changed to Crohn's, treated for that to no avail. Finally, it was changed to celiac disease. And once she began living gluten-free, her life was better, but not good because she was so sensitive. If she walked into a room where flour had been sifted, she would be, get sick just from breathing the dust in the air. If she touched flour trying to make chill, uh, cookies for her children or bread for her family, she would be in bed for two days. Uh, she was so sensitive if they went out to dinner. And if there was some gluten hidden in the food, which a lot of times they do, how they would know that last night's dinner had gluten is she wouldn't be able to get out of bed for the next two days. Sick as a dog. She was so sick so much of the time that her normal weight, 130, 35 pounds, was down less than 100 pounds. Her husband said she had all the shape of a fence post. He said she looked like a prisoner of war from a refugee, refugee camp, uh, just on starvation. And, and she had heard about the clay. Her family had heard about the clay, and her husband tried to get her to use it. And he, she's, again, like this other lady, she said, hey, I don't do dirt. <laughs> I'm not that desperate. But when she got down so sick, so much of the time, finally, they talked her into it. She did not this, not this, not this. She did the third way. And the third way of taking clay is to mix the, a quarter of a cup in a gallon of water. Because a quarter of a cup treats a gallon. It's a teaspoon in a glass, but it's a quarter of a cup in a gallon. So she did the quarter of a cup in a gallon, or well, she was going to use a gallon, but she had a little kitchen pitcher that held about two or three quarts, uh, and that's what she used. But she put a quarter of a cup in it, and then she would stir it up, put it in the fridge, let it settle out, and after it was settled out, totally settled out, she began drinking the clear water off the top. She would drink about a six or eight ounce glass a day. And uh, she did that for 14 days. And after 14 days, after 14 glasses of clay went down her mouth, she got as sick as if she had eaten a loaf of bread. She said to her husband, throw out the clay, now I'm allergic to it. Luckily, he knew what was going on. And he said, no, Christy, that clay is pulling out of your cells, pulling out of your tissues, the toxins, the irritants from gluten that your body has stored away that's causing the irritation. It's pulling those irritants, those toxins into your bloodstream so they can be flushed off. So she kept drinking the clay every day. But she had a rough couple of months. 
And then she had uh, the next two months were really good with only occasional flare-ups. And then her next two months were perfect health. She was ready to go back to gluten to try it. But her husband had heard that it can take up to a year to detoxify somebody who's as bad as she was. So he begged her to go six more months. Now, all this time, she's still living gluten-free. So she went six more months gluten-free. So now it's been 12 months gluten-free, 365 glasses of clay down her gullet. <laughs> and it was the week before Thanksgiving, about six, seven years ago now. And the week before Thanksgiving, she ate a roll on purpose <laughs> to see what would happen. And the next day, she still felt good. So for Thanksgiving that year, for the first time in over four years, she ate rolls and pie. Wow. And the morning after Thanksgiving, Friday morning, Keith woke up first, her husband. He's lying there in bed with his fingers crossed, hoping when Christy wakes up, it's not going to be deja vu all over again. And he, she woke up and he said, how do you feel? And she said, and this is a quote, like I'd like another piece of pie. Let's have some for breakfast. <laughs> Now, we don't advocate pie for breakfast. We think you should eat healthy. We, we think you should eat as healthy as you can. Uh, but point is, she went back to eating bread, pies, cake, gluten, nothing made her sick. Uh, she, she went 40 years, nothing whatsoever. After four years, her husband said she started to take the clay again. Because she went four years without drinking clay. But after four years, then she went back to, to, I don't know, daily, but occasionally drinking the clay again. Uh, her weight went back up from 100 pounds. She went back up to her 130. Uh, she said the downside in the whole thing, experience, was uh, with the clay, she said the only negative was when I took my teenage daughter shopping, I could fit in those little size one dresses better than they could. And, and she said that was fun. She yeah. says, now I'm back to a size four. Uh, <laughs> But her husband says he likes the difference. He says it's nice to be married to a woman, to a woman instead of a fence post. 